Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the third and final video to my Microsoft 365 post exploitation with Graph Runner mini series. In the first video, we learned how to use Graph Runner, how to authenticate and run some basic reconnaissance commands. And then in the second video, we learned about persistence. And now in the third video, we are gonna do some pillaging. I would like to say again, YouTube disclaimer, all of this is for educational purposes. And I do have permission to run all these commands in this sandbox environment. All the information and important links are gonna be in the description. Uh, one includes a blog post in case you wanna use Graph Runner in the future, but can't remember everything in this video, I recommend checking out the blog post. Let's hop right into the last video. Okay, we're gonna quickly knock these out. We're pillaging for information that we probably shouldn't have. The first command that we are gonna run in PowerShell here is going to be invoke search teams gonna add our token. It is gonna prompt us for a keyword. I'm gonna keep it simple and just search for password. And we do have some hits here. So this is showing us or presenting us all of the team's messages that have the keyword password. And we do have some passwords. This is incredible, especially if you are adding yourself and modifying Teams groups that you weren't originally in. The next one we're gonna do is invoke search SharePoint and OneDrive. Search term again, keep it simple. We're gonna do passwords. It's using our tokens. And it did find a couple hits of these documents that do have the keyword password. You do have the option to save these documents, which you might wanna do if you're on an assessment. For this demonstration, we're not gonna download any. I'm just gonna type no, and it's gonna quit. The next one that we are going to do is gonna be invoke search users attributes this obviously we're going to keep it the same look for passwords and it seems like we do have a password in the user attributes typically you're not really supposed to save anything sensitive in these account attributes but oftentimes things get saved there that probably shouldn't and in this case we were able to find a hit and that is quick and easy. Diving into the next one, we're gonna do get inbox tokens. And we're just gonna look at the inbox for the account that I have compromised so using the user ID. We're gonna just use the email address here. This is Deckard at tyrellcorporation.io. And it spits out some of the emails that this particular user has been sending and receiving. I know we went through this last video really quick. And again, we were not able to cover all of the modules that Bo has available in Graph Runner. I would really encourage you to check out the links below and follow the GitHub repository. I know Bo's constantly updating it. And I'm really excited to see what else gets added to this tool. And hopefully it helps you on your engagements as much as it helps me. I hope you liked this mini series. If you would like more like this uh, with different tools, let me know. I would love to make more. Bye everyone.